Hello, book two. This is a shelf tour, bookcase 11. Let's see, shelf number one, two, three. Shelf number four. So we're making progress. A little more than halfway through this bookcase, I guess. So let's start right off. We'll go back and do some more. It's all American history and biography and all that. This is Willard Stern Randall, and it's um, his George Washington of Life. We'll see, I have a lot of this biographer's works. And he this uh, it's a John McRae book, Henry Holton Company, New York, and it is uh, 1997. So yet another volume of Washington's life. Then uh, this glorious struggle, George Washington's Revolutionary War Letters, Edward G. Langle, Associate Editor of the Papers of George Washington, with a preface by Joseph J. Ellis. A rather thin volume of letters. The Smithsonian Books, Collins, uh, copyright 2007. And here we get uh, the Jefferson image in the American mind. It's a University Press of uh, Virginia out of Charlottesville. And it's from 1998. The author is Merrill D. Peterson. So the story of how Jefferson's image has changed through time. Uh, one caveat on this, of course, census book came out a lot more with genetic testing and our different way of looking in the world somewhat um, so there's it's still an interesting book another one is the uh, twilight at monticello the final years of thomas jefferson by alan pell crawford and i have been to monticello many many times my dad retired to charlottesville so while he was alive we would go down and visit all the time lovely town this is Random House, New York, and this came out in 2008. <clears throat> this one does not have a dust jacket. It's a wonderful book. It's Jefferson and Monticello by Jack McLaughlin. Uh, there's the end papers. You see I paid six bucks for it. Money well spent because it, I really, really, really like this book. The Biography of a Builder. And uh, it's from Henry Holton Company in New York, uh, 1988. And a uh, book I read with, yeah, I'm just, that was delightful. Um, it made uh, visiting Monticello that much more, more enjoyable. So, a book I would recommend if you can find it. Maybe in print, I don't know. Then I have Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemming. A, uh, an American Controversy by Annette Gordon-Reed. The N DNA and the Author's Response. The University Press of Char uh, Virginia, Charlottesville again. And this is 1997. Uh, so, yeah, well, I won't say much about it. Just, that's the controversy and... and there's another part of the puzzle. Then there's really old <laughs> Viking Press, Carl Van Doren, Benjamin Franklin, and you can tell it's a, not sure what condition it's in. It's got some dust on it for sure. Paper is really yellow. So uh, this is the uh, fourth printing of December 1938. Yeah. yeah, you can see the color. It's just. I hope you can tell it's just it wasn't printed on very good paper. There's Franklin in Philadelphia. There he is in London. Then um, Edmund S. Morgan, Benjamin Franklin. Another biography. This is the uh, Get to the page here. I don't seem to be able to get it open. Uh, 
This is a Yale Nota Bene, Yale University Press, New Haven in London, and it's um, 2002, and um, this is 2003. And then, <clears throat> another Willard Stern Randall biography, this time it's of Ethan Allen, His Life and Times. And uh, it's W.W. Norton and Company, New York and London, 2011. So there you go. That's uh, American History on Bookcase 11. And it's the, uh, I keep forgetting the numbers here, one, two, three, uh, shelf four. So thank you, BookTube.